Okay, I'm going to attempt to explain the routing that we have with our X32s. Um, so the way we're going to think of it at is as a signal flow that starts at the stage box. So it starts at Newman, and it works its way all the way up to Jerry, and then it actually goes back. So then it goes back to Kramer, and then back to Newman. So you can think of this, like if you divided it like this, you could think of it kind of as far as how these cables are connected, kind of like a mirror image, or you can think of it like a circle. I just I just did it one linear, one linear way, but it could also kind of be like a circle, but uh, I think this is the easiest way to explain it. So first of all, you need to understand how the cables are connected and why things are labeled the way they are. So... Um, Starting at Newman, uh, well, actually the easier way to be explained from Jerry. Okay, so from starting from Jerry, uh, out of Jerry's A port for AES-50, it connects to the A port on Kramer. And then out of Kramer's B port goes to the A port on Newman. So Newman's A is connected to, to Kramer's B, and then Kramer's A is connected to Jerry's A, okay? So the reason why that's important is because when... Oh, I'll, I'll explain how this goes. So uh, say we plug something into channel 1 through 8. Let's just pretend like we have a kick in the channel 1, okay, on it, the stage box on the stage, okay? It's plugged into channel 1. Alright, so let's follow that flow. It's sent through AES port A on Newman, and it arrives at Kramer in port B. So when Kramer, when you go to the AES, uh, well, I'll just, okay. So anyway, it's, it's, it arrives as, uh, as B1 through 8, okay? But we want to use A, this, we want to use this A port because that's what's connected to uh, Jerry. So we want to change B1 through 8 to be A1 through 8 so that we can send it along through to Jerry. So uh, in the routing tab under the AE50, AES50A on Kramer, we change that uh, from... To, to be the the source output of AES 50A is going to be B1 through 8, which is, is our kick channel. Okay, so our kick channel is in 1. It arrives as B1 through 8. We change it to A1 through 8 so that it can now move along this path. So it moves along, and then it arrives at Jerry as A1 through 8. And in the home tab on Jerry's routing, uh, we select that we on channels 1 through 8, like the physical channels that are on the board, we want those to receive their source from A1 through 8. Okay, so you can see how we're still tracking along. So now channel 1 on Jerry is going to be that kick. Okay. Now here's where things get crazy. Alright, so we also need to send all information back from Jerry, because right so far, Kramer hasn't touched uh, anything. Um, uh, it's just routing. It's just going through. The signal is just going through Kramer, right? We're not, it's not messing with it. Like the engineer is not able to mess with anything at this point. We need to send that information back to Kramer. So this is this is why Jerry has control over gain. He he sets the gain, right? And then now he sends it back. And he's going to send it back down that A port. So A S 50 A. Um now the the weird thing about I'll I'll explain this in a little bit. I'll explain this later. Okay. So, um we need to send our uh, our A1 through 32, oops, we need to send these 
all of these sources, which is, again, all of these, uh, we actually need to offset them by 16. So, it's really weird, but AES50A, we are going to send down 1 through 32 is going to go down 17 through 48. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lanes of traffic, you could say. You could think of it like this. You got 6 lanes of traffic moving uh, eastbound on the A-port highway, okay? Um, there's 6 lanes. We only need 4, right, to send all of these channels. Um, but rather than sending them down these four, we're going to send them down these four, okay? So what we're doing is saying down 17 through 24, that lane, we are going to drive the car A1 through 8, okay? Which again, this is our source. This is why, there's a, this is why I'm trying to show you with this highlighted section. So... Uh, and then so on and so forth. So through 25 through 32s, we're going to drive the car 9 through 15. Okay. Now, so it's it's driving happily down the A port highway. It arrives at Kramer. In his home tab on the routing tab, he can select where he wants to get the source for channels 1 through 8. For the physical faders on his board, where does he want 1 through 8 to come from? Well, he wants 1 through 8 to come from A, the car that's driving down A, the highway, A17 through 24, which is our A1 car, A1 through 8, however you want to think about it. So, boom, boom. So you can see how it goes from here to here to here to here to here to here to here. And then it arrives on channel strip 1 of Kramer because we've selected the source 17 through 24, um, which is another name for 1 through 8. This is why this is so confusing. Okay. Um, so that's how we have things configured. Um, okay. So let me explain why we had to move this. Because of the way that Behringer sets up their... Uh, stuff, you can only send aux channels uh, down AES 1 through 6. So this is why we couldn't use the 1 through 8 highway to send 1 through 8, because then we can't send our aux channels. So we have, why we had to shift everything. So we want to send uh, our aux 1 through, through 6 um, down to Kramer. So how we did that was in our home tab on Jerry, uh, you know, in our normal channels, like the physical fader, aux faders, one through six on Jerry are getting their source from the physical input aux channels on the back of Jerry, okay? But we've set it up to where when we're, uh, these two other lanes that we haven't talked about, we're going to send our outputs 1 through 16 down A through six, 1 through 16. So these are the outputs that are on the back of Jerry. These are the 16 physical XLR outputs on the back of Jerry. These are actually controlled. Um, these are actually set up as your uh, as buses. Okay? So this is why we send this is why we send uh, our aux channels to a bus before they go to Kramer. So I, I, I guess I need to note that in here. But basically, you're saying, all right, aux one, I'm going to send to bus one, which is the same as the XLR out one. Okay, so 1 through 6 is XLR out 1 through 6. Like if you stuck an XLR cable in the back of Jerry in out 1, uh, that's what you're going to get is mix bus 1. Um, 
So we are sending that down the A1 through 8 highway. It arrives. Um, oh, I guess I didn't show that part. Sorry, I guess I, I should do that. Okay. It arrives here in aux 1 through 6. So the channels, the physical channel on Kramer, the physical fader that says this is your aux faders 1 through 6, are going to be getting their source from A1 through 6, which is the same as your mix, uh, your mix buses 1 through 6 on Jerry. Okay? I know, it's crazy. Uh, but along with that, you were, we're sending all 16. So if you, um, so let's talk about that. Okay. <clears throat> so we've gotten all the way to Kramer. Now, remember, Kramer is connected to Newman through Kramer's B port. So if we're going to send information from Kramer back to Newman, it has to come out of your B port. This is why this is B, and this is why this is A over here, okay? A, because it was, it needed to go to Jerry, and now B, because we need to go back to Newman. Okay, so <clears throat> 1 through 16, the physical outputs on Newman, on the stage box, there, there are actually 16 XLR outputs there. Those are going to be getting their source um, from Kramer and coming down the B port. And the same thing kind of like that we had to do here, how we had to switch it from B to A, you have to switch it back from A to, to B. So now A1 through 8 needs to go down the highway B1 through 8, and, and then it will arrive at output 1 through 8 on Newman. Same thing through five. So these sources can be changed. Oops, I don't know why I just did that. Cancel. Um, these sources can be changed. So this is what's editable, is what's in the source column. Uh, the output column is not editable. That's the, high, that, that's the lane. That's the highway that these sources are driving down. OK. Um, and then there's also P16s, that's why they come through here, and I, I need to work on that more to explain exactly how that works. But that is a general overview of how the routing works on our system.